guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Brandy, and this channel is basically just to go over stuff that I want to tell everyone about doing their hair themselves so they don't accidentally fry their hair or anything. So, today, yes, this bathroom is very small. This is actually going to be the last video I'm filming in this bathroom because we're moving in a couple weeks. Next week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to film a couple of videos with my friend Dulce from work. So, it's going to be at her house. You're going to see the next two videos. But this is going to be the last one in this tiny bathroom. I'm so excited. We're moving the week of my birthday, and I can't wait. <laughs> so, today, we're going to do something a little bit different. So, it is 9.30 in the morning for me. I have to be at work at 4.00. I'm going to see if I can completely change my hair between now and then. Like, I'm going to strip out the semi-permanent out of my hair. I'll show you guys later. And then I'm going to bleach the permanent out of my hair. And then we're going to do something a little crazy. But I'm not going to tell you what color it is so I'm going to do my hair until we get to that point. But between now and then, probably not going to talk a whole lot just because... I'm going through all the steps, for trying to go as quickly as I possibly can, because I want to be able to leave the house in about six hours. So I got six hours to get all this done. So it's going to be fun. For the first part, we are using the Ion Hair Color Remover. Basically, first that shampoo, rinse, it's driving me crazy not to condition my hair, but it is what it is, because we're trying to get all this out. Um... Okay, so now that it's shampooed, I need to fill my applicator bottle with four ounces of room temperature water. Okay, so I'm actually going to do eight because I've got two packets and I have a lot of hair. Okay. It's awfully thick. It's like really foamy. Like it's supposed to be a gel. All right, and then I'm going to apply this all over to my head, all over my head, and then I'm going to put a processing cap on it and blow dry my hair it says 15 to 45 minutes so we'll just see how it goes and then I gotta like shampoo my hair up to like three times so let's go something like this I'm not really too terribly worried about sectioning it just because like I'm gonna get all over my hair so like it doesn't really matter it's like a foam like a foam gel kind of thing. That's it. I've got a little bit left, but like, it's okay. Alright, so I'm going to put it in processing cap, blow dry my hair, and then I'll be back after I shampoo it out. Probably, actually no, I'll be back after I like blow dry my hair again after that. And we'll get started on the whole bleaching process. Alrighty, my hair is dry. It's been washed out. On camera, it looks almost like the way my hair looked before I put the purple on it. There's still some spots of purple. But like in natural lighting, it looks like an ashy brown. You can still see like the blue from the grateful color. But yeah, all right, it's time to bleach. Now it's time to lighten my hair. Today we're using the, bron the Blonde Brilliance Express 19 level lightener. Um, It's got coconut oil and mango oil, so and hydrolyzed keratin in it. So like, we're going with the good stuff today because <laughs> I, I don't want to fry my hair. Um, it specifically calls for like their version of developer, which is like 25, 35, stuff like that, which is different than the normal like 20, 30, stuff like that. So we're going in with, the size I work at doesn't sell their developer. So I'm going in with equal parts 20 and 30 and then two scoops, so it's like two ounces of 20, two ounces of 30, and then two scoops of lightener. And then I also threw in 
a packet of one and only one shot bond repair. It's basically like the version of Olaplex, so I'll try something new. Ooh, also count how many bowls I use. <laughs> so let's go. Ooh. set for like 20 minutes or until like right in here gets like a light yellow or lighter and then I'll rinse it out and I'll be right back. Alright so my hair lightened. I actually only left it on for about 9 to 10 minutes just because it was starting to irritate my scalp and it was already light enough as is. The blue, the only time I've ever put blue in my hair was a very temporary color so the only reason why this is showing up is because the purple that I put in my hair the last time, the Grateful by Strawberry Leopard, actually has a blue base, and my hair, like, absorbed all that blue. Alright, so, my hair is dry, sectioned out, and now it's time to have some fun. I'm actually going to color my hair, and like I said, it's going to be a surprise. So, I'm going to turn off the camera, do my hair, and then I'll come back when it's done. First time I've ever did blue and green in my hair, and I love it. Oh man, <laughs> turned out better than I could imagine. And then, of course, I had to do an eye look to match my hair. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. All right, that's it for today. Like, subscribe, have a beautiful day, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.